everyone, I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and today is the OC show, this is 7-4 episode 9. Uh, as you know, I'm not supposed to be on the show, but today I will be uh, jumping in before Ch Chiro Atlas because it turns out that it doesn't have any power left at his place, so I jump in for the last, uh, for the just, uh, for, for just the show tonight. I'm not supposed to be here, but I will be here for you guys to make the show happen. Tonight on the show, we have some awesome guests. We do have uh, Bildzoid from UK. Hey, Hello. We do have two dudes from live from India. Hello. And we do have currently world number one, Dan Cup from Germany. Hey, guys. <laughs> so we're having some fun before the show. Uh, as I told you, Chiro Atlas could not be here with us tonight. So big up to him. Maybe he's watching that on his cell phone right now. Uh, sorry, dude, you cannot be here. But well, that happened when the when the electricity just cut off. Uh, thank you guys for being there on the live chat. Don't forget, always I keep asking your questions uh, all along the different uh, topic we'll be discussing today and the questions we you do have for the guest. And uh, well, let's uh, dive right into it. Tullius, what's uh, going on in terms of competition in the in the past week? Um, there's, yeah, there's actually been 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 quite some action. Um, lots uh, lots of updates with uh, with uh, your uh, Road to Pro 2017. You've got round three going on. So right now you've got actually you've got Gunslinger and uh, JPM Boy in the lead. Um, well, Gunslinger's in number one place, JPM Boy is number two, and Stratos C CZ is number three. Stratos is just about taking part in every single competition. I mean, we, you'll, 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 you'll see him in quite a few competitions. But yeah, this, this, this competition still has, still has a few days left, but already 76 overclockers uh, you know, taking part. So things are beginning to heat up, but obviously, you know, there's, there's still a lot of time. I'm not going to say sandbagging, but well, I said it. <laughs> okay, so yeah. for everyone that was on the chat before the show started, every time we say yeah, sandbagging, X295, Edge of Prime, you take a shot. So that's the first one. <laughs> there you go. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, there's there's basically you've got you've got Division 1 round 3 going on. You've got already 44 of clockers in Division 1 round 3 as well. Um, surprisingly, though, Iki is in the lead here from from Japan. Good, good to see somebody from Japan in the lead. You know, this is, uh, and especially somebody who you know is up and coming. So yeah, yeah, Iki, good to see. Um, Shar zero zero seven five zero from Israel. Huh. This is this is this is a pretty interesting split. I mean, this it's 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 great to see. You've got JPM boy obviously here as well. You've got Stato CZ here as well. But yeah, so so far it's you've got you've got some relative, you know, strangers that <laughs> as, as, as I call them um, in the lead right now. Basically, so great to see again. You've got 35 days left, so yeah, still time to go. But looking good, uh, 44 overclockers. So again, it's great to see such such a nice volume. You know, um, certain competitions obviously will have will have uh, lesser le lesser overclockers taking part. But in general, there's uh, there's there's you know there's there's good competition happening. And yeah. if you look at division, the, the thing yeah? for division one is that you need to restrict to a core i7. So any from Sandy yes. Bridge, Ivy Bridge, Aswell, Broadwell, Sky Lake, and Kaby Lake. And True. you need to have, and so LGA 2011, uh, 2011.3 or 2060 seat so, uh, circuit that you cannot use. So you need to have a use. core i7 on the mainstream. Yes, yes. So this is a competition that, again, you will see a lot of people take part because this, this, this year a fair amount of overclockers and, you know, even users have. So I'm expecting, I'm expecting, uh, you know, serious competition in the States towards the end. But... Yeah, you've got you've got again. If you look at actually stage one here in this competition, you've got you've got Iki in the lead. You've got Ail Bel Belbo and Sa and Sandalo. So Cinebench R15 is what is what they're benching. Um, and yeah, some some impressive results are already 1552 Cinebench. So that's so you know that's that's not bad at all. Those are some really really nice scores coming in already. And uh, if you look at if you look at stage two in this, you've actually got Uni Engine Haven Extreme. So uh, again, the fall they've got uh, 
basically the cast that you can't use are the Titan, uh, any of the Titans or the Titan XPs or Blacks or any of the Titans basically. Um, and you can use again just about everything else. So 1080 Ti's are going to be pretty much the pretty much the ones to go for here. And again, there's no real there's no real lock on CPU clocks. Um, so yeah, this is a this is this is practically all our Uni Engine Heaven. This is all our Uni Engine Heaven. So great to see Iki in the lead again. So he's he's consistently being he's consistently leading. Um, you know all. All these, all these three stages so far. I mean, stage all this, and uh, even in stage three, which is uh, 3D Mark VI, you have him in the lead uh, again. But very good to see. Again, the same rules apply, guys. So you've got no Titans allowed, but you've got i7, any of the i7s, uh, and just about any GPU. So yeah. Uh, Legacy, pretty much, uh, the, as we all know, you know, it's pretty much you want to be benching the 7700K for, for legacy. There's no point benching higher core count here. It's just clock speed. So, yeah, again, it is in the lead there. And then if you look at uh, stage four, you've got hardware bot X265. Now, <laughs> which is going to be a big <laughs> issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we'll discuss that later towards the end. But yeah. Again, so so Iki's in the lead here as well. Um, I, I'm 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 just I'm just surprised to see, um, you know, Iki con con consistently in, in in the lead. And also remember, guys, with competitions like this, it's not about leading every single stage. I've won competitions where I've where you know I've basically not even like won one stage or a one one stage at at the most. Just consistency is actually the key here. And if you look at the last. If if you look at the last stage, which is which is Pi Fast now again, Pi Fast is pure is pure clocks, uh, memory and just having yourself the right OS. So it is in second position here. Uh, you've got Big Block, Big Block 990 in the lead here. Yeah, so lots and lots of lots and lots of competition in this in this particular in this particular round, Division One, Round Three, and um, yeah, moving on, you've got Division Two, Round. Round three, which again Iki is in the lead. Interesting and actually good to see. So you've got Iki in the lead here, and then you've got um, Sam's rules and Zev Pew. Hmm. Zev Pew. Zev Pew. Zev Pew. I'm. Yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah. Well, at least we don't have uh, to. Well, I was going to make a joke. No, scratch that. <laughs> it's about the. It's about having to pronounce that hard name while we while we don't have to pronounce that hard name anymore. <laughs> but, um, we see some fa familiar faces from UK as well, like Jumper One Eighteen. Uh, yeah. Number was Pang. That were these two guys were actually at the Player dot Net meetup, uh, the UK bench meetup at Player dot Net yeah, last were. week. They were. Yeah. And interesting to see actually another Indian uh, in the top ten case up here. He's actually a regular. He benches. He he benches quite hard. Um, not so much with LN2, but uh, with like chilled water and stuff. Yeah, he benches. So good to see there with uh, Division Two Round Three. I mean, you've got you've got you've got again the this time it's pretty much the same, but you can only use i fives. Um, so. 7600 k's for the win pretty much Actually, and uh, big shout out to jumper 180 that is right now on the live chat as well yes he is <laughs> yes he is in fact <laughs> he was the one that actually pointed out we were live when we didn't know we were live but uh, yeah uh, um so so yeah if you look at um stage one it's actually hw bot x2654 k again so this bench is is yeah it's it's going to get revised i don't know what's going to happen with this it's kind of mark. tricky guys <laughs> yeah we, we will have a lot of time to discuss that tonight because that's going to be the main drama for tonight's show <laughs> and then stage two you've got everybody's favorite super pipe 32 m so yeah windows xp high clocks good memory so copy was up then for more tweaks and yeah that's basically it. so. Iki is actually doing well. A four minute thirty five is not bad at all. Is really not bad at all. So yeah, Iki is doing pretty well. And um, 
so is uh, SAMS rules actually. Some, some, what, what SAMS rules is considerably slower, but still, uh, definitely he's got, he's got time to improve and Hickey is, yeah, he's doing pretty well. So, congratulations. And then if you, if you look at around uh, stage three, you've got GPU Pi for CPU 100M. Again, Sam rules. Icky, surprisingly, is in eighth position here. Uh, but you've got Sam rules uh, in the lead. You've got Nikola 61 and you've got Marco is not 80. Can you open the screenshots? So some of these names are really funny. Um, uh, I, could, I could open some of the screenshots. Which, which just, screenshot do you want to see? Just from the number one and Icky. You're thinking that the Icky is on the wrong OpenCL version? OpenCL version. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. The, the, that's like this benchmark is 99% OpenCL. Yeah, I was just going to say selection. It. Okay, he's on Intel and Icky. Icky should be on AMD. Yeah. Um, yep. Oh, yep. Yep. There you oh, go. There. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I ran into the same problem benching uh, 5960X. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I had exactly. AMD, AMD OpenCL and the score is just trash and I'm sitting there going like, why? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we had the same issue at the Las Vegas uh, OC World Championship when... And at the World Tour uh, final last year for, uh, I think it was Lucky Noob against Extreme Addict. An Extreme Addict was complaining that his RAM was really bad going into that that round, but Lucky Noob was uh, using the wrong OpenCL, so Extreme Addict won that. Oh. I remember, <laughs> like, that benchmark is just like, you need to keep track of the OpenCL version. But that's yeah, interesting yeah. that even the top guys actually messed this up. I think it also varies depending on which size like which OpenCL version you need to use. Yeah, exactly. You need AMD for 1 billion and you need uh, Intel for 100 mega. Yeah. That's it. And then you've got GPU Pi 1 billion, which is basically stage four. So here, Iki is in second position and Zevipu? Yeah, Zevipu. Or if I'm if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm going to Sevi Pew, not not Sevi Pew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, well. Um, he's in the lead. So yeah, Icky's not been, uh, Icky's really, really close. I mean, just one slightly, slightly faster run will, uh, will pretty much do it for him. And you've got jumper one one eight in third position. Yay! Good job. Seriously. Uh, yeah. he, he's saying 290x master race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for GPU Pi. Yeah, that, that card's a monster for that benchmark. It is. It really is. I still need to test Vega on GPU Pi. Because, like, yeah. AM, the 290x actually beats the Fiji cards for GPU Pi and the 480s. Yeah. Like, the 290x was AMD's last great GPU Pi card. There's nothing that beat it since, which is ridiculous if you think about it. <laughs> and yeah, so so really, and considering if you look at the list of hardware that's not allowed, you've got the all the Titans, Titan XP, the 1080Ti, 1080s, uh, even the notebooks, even the notebooks ones, and the 980Ti. So yeah, I mean that pretty much kind of seals it. It is it is 290x master race. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so that's basically stage four, and then stage five is 3D Marco three again legacy. Same rules for the GPUs applies, but this time it's Core i5. So yeah, again, not not that it's going to make that much of a difference, but yeah, I mean with 3D Marco six hyper threading doesn't really make that much of a difference, but. Damn. I'm not. And 3D Mark will say, yeah, I mean, sorry, 3D Mark 3. So, what we yeah, are, sorry, little, little brain fart there. But 3D Mark 3, definitely, you don't need to have a threading. So, it's just nice. You can just run two cores and just maximum clock speed and memory and a fast GPU. But again, that's pretty much it with this. 
Um, you've got um, 3D Mark 3, and that's basically all for Division 2 Round 3, actually. Um, if you look at Division 3 Round 3, again, you've got 24 overclockers. Icky's in the lead here as well. So this is this is some really good showing from him. Really, really good showing. And stage one is basically XTU. <coughs> um, so here you've got core i3s, which makes it interesting. So this is going to be 7350 CD, pretty much everybody. Yeah. And good fast memory. But Icky's in the lead here as well. Um, He's in the lead everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. So this that, the, uh, this is just really good, really good showing. I mean, he's benched hard. You can you, you can see, um, and he's he's benched quite a few benchmarks. So really, really good job. Eleven ninety six points with uh, with I'm guessing it's gonna be a seventy three fifty. And yes, it is at six point practically six point six gigahertz. So that's that's a pretty good score. That's not bad at all. Good CPU right there. And then um, you've got basically X Mech in in P2 and Super Potato Super Pato Donaldo Super Potato Yeah, I'm sorry. So he's in third, and then you've got Fonsol, Casanova, and uh, Jab 33, Andrix, and Strato CZ. Strato CZ is pretty much regular. He's he takes part in just about every single competition. Interesting, we have Juno in TBR in that in that one. Yeah, yeah. Because this one is I three only. Then, it's only I three, pretty much. Yes, and then and then if you look at uh, stage two, it's Geekbench single core. And uh, guess who's in the lead? <laughs> Hickey. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, and then you've got Funsol, XMEC, Casanova, Jab 3 is here as well. So quite quite a few of the regulars, but yeah. I'm just really impressed with uh, how much Icky's actually benched. That's that's uh, that's a serious amount of of, of work, like diff different platforms and you know all of that, and to do it on LN2. So yeah. Lots and lots of work. Round three is again my, one of my personal favorites. I actually like W Prime. It's just one of one of those really old benches that you know. There's I, I, not, I, only so. Yeah. Personally, I don't like that one because it it tends to be a bit random in terms of score. It is a little random. Like when, once you random. start running in the low, like at five seconds, five plus seconds, it's not too bad. But once you go sort of like below four seconds, I think it starts yeah. jumping up and down. And it's very operating system sensitive as well. It so. is. It is. It I, is I'm very not a fan. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just the operating system. I mean, once once you've found a good operating system, uh, it's quite consistent, in my opinion. And it's just one of those old benchmarks. So I I kind of have a soft corner for this one. Uh, one thing as well, and it's, it's, it's quite multi-threaded as well. So we might have this yeah. uh, this same issue that we had with Sine Bench with like a, a huge amount of uh, of core and threads. That the thread spanning is actually taking longer than the benchmark longer. workload itself. Yes, that would that would definitely happen with 32m, if not one. I mean, lesser with 1024 for sure, but 32m, yeah, because it's just it's just so quick. It's it's just so quick. Like if you have something like 16 cores or like even more, for example, or even 18 cores, that thread scheduler is going to take a good amount of time just to split that task up into those 32 threads or. 38, I mean 36 threads, whatever you want to call it, but yeah. So with the 1024, not so much, but with 32M for sure, for sure. I mean, you might actually see you see the benchmark take longer with uh, a higher core count CPU than with a lesser core count CPU at some point. You know, that could happen with this benchmark. But again, I like, I just have a soft corner for this one. It's old, and I like benching it. And there's also so much. That it's 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 been benched on just about every single gen, like since 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 like the beginning of HW bot. So in terms of data sets, you've got an insane amount of data on this benchmark, like for every single generation. Literally. It's also a lot, worth a lot of points. Yeah, like I've, I've just been going <laughs> through, and it's like I. Like I don't like how random it is, but like once you get decent at W Prime 32M, it's it's a nice place to get points. <laughs> I yes, actually have a good amount of them on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it is. 
But it, also, this depends on the core amount. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're going to be benching something really exotic like a uh, 14 core, yeah, then it's not worth anything. That's yeah. It. Yeah, kind of similar to like Cinebench uh, 11 sort of feels like, like the quad core Cinebench 11 is so, there's so many chips in that ranking that, yeah, that, that, that's a similar situation. Yeah, W Prime is like the only old multi-threaded benchmark, isn't it? Or? Yes, it is, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know any anything else. Yeah, that's actually older. Since like, yeah, it, it's like ancient. I think it is the oldest one that was. Yeah, no wonder. I work. I just like it. It's 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 with with uh, one zero two four. It scales. It's. I mean, if you look at some of the top scores, like the core counts that you can use on this thing are actually <laughs> massive. Like, uh, yeah, Denzen I think has got a. Uh, wait, let me check who's at number one right now. Um, should be Splave. Um, the, in the Hall of Fame? I think so. Um, that would be interesting. Because with 1024, the core count is... Why isn't it opening? Anyway, okay. Tudius, can we, can we move on and yeah. uh, finish the yeah. Division 3? Well, yeah, well, when then we've got... Basically, we've got Catzilla, uh, 720p. So, Icky's in... Icky is in second place here, and uh, Jab Jab three three is in uh, first position, and you've got X Mac in third position there. So uh, that's that's basically Catzilla, and in the last round being Aquamark, again just sheer absolute absolute clock speed and any decent GPU. But this is also with an i three, so just all our clocks and just good memory, fast fa fast good memory. So here you've got you've got for you've got G G Trud from Germany in 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 the lead uh, with 464,000. That's not too bad actually. And then you've got uh, second place is again Super Patinaldo from Italy, and third place is Sam's Rules. Icky is in fourth, and you've got Strato CZ again in sixth. So and Jab as well. Jab Jab 33 is in is in seventh position. So. Here, I guess it's all just about who's been able to run slightly, slightly higher in terms of uh, CPU. That's thinking, and that's basically what's uh, separating everybody else. So, moving on from Division Three, uh, Division Three Round Three, we've got Division Four Round Three, and um, thirteen overclockers here. You've got Bruno. He's obviously one of the one of our, you know, top overclockers from the elite league uh, bench bench is pretty hard as well. So you've got Bruno in the lead. You've got Jumper one one eight again in second position, and you've got CB Joss from uh, is that is that Australia or New, New Zealand? Zealand? New I guess. Zealand, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically the the top three with division with division four round three. I mean, we can look at a few of their benchmarks, which is. Stage one again is hardware Bordek X two six five four K. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna skip on that. But uh, Moose one Moose CB Just and Suffrage they are kind of in the lead here. Um, Strato CZ again is in fourth fourth position, and this is actually uh, AMD stage. So I'm ex flanker. Where is he? You know, I'm, I'm <laughs> this is this is totally totally his uh, this is totally his domain. Um, and then you've got uh, stage two, which is uh, Geekbench uh, multi-core. So uh, this is this is limited to uh, FX and Ryzen. So I don't know why anybody would be benching FX when you've got Ryzen here. Uh, well, FX maybe because well you can push them higher on LN2 versus Ryzen. So this makes for a pretty impre pretty interesting uh, pretty interesting. Uh, the uh, thing with the thing with FX is it's like half the speed of a Ryzen. So yeah. You need like 10 gigahertz <laughs> to keep up with a 5 gigahertz Ryzen. So even on LN2, it's just no. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, if, what I heard, like, yeah, there's been people complaining about the whole FX and Ryzen thing for this divi uh, this round. Round, yeah. But it's basically yeah. as the, like, because the, before Ryzen launched, this was an FX division. 
division, and so yeah. it's still sort of carrying on as an FX division, and then maybe for next year it'll drop the FX part. FX and go to Ryzen, correct? Because right now anybody with a Ryzen at even 4.6, 4.8 gigahertz on LN2 is just gonna oblivious. Yeah, yeah, it hurts yeah. in FX. Literally. Yeah, compared to FX, Ryzen is just freaking awesome. And um, stage three is 3D Mark uh, is 3D Mark Firestrike Extreme. So, video card manufactured by AMD. I do Vega Vega 64 for the win here with. I wonder if it, yeah, I mean, manuf I don't think that's no that, I don't think that's allowed to have Vega for this. Is Vega. That's I'm I'm pretty sure the Frontier Edition came out before the competition started. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs to worry. I'm not gonna bench competitions. I, I I just don't really enjoy them that much. So like you don't have to worry about me turning up with a Vega Frontier Edition, but <laughs> I think technically those should be legal. Yes, I would think so. I would think so. So you've got Bruno in the lead, Jumper 118 in second position, and Moose 1 Moose in uh, third position here. Uh, CB Jost in fourth, and Sam Schultz in fifth. Shato CZ is again in seventh. He benches just about every single stage, like literally, literally. Um, and then you've got basically stage four, which is W prime, 1024. Uh, oh boy, this it's painful on FX. <laughs> that's that, that's all I want to say. Oh boy, but uh, Ryzen, yeah, Ryzen shouldn't be that bad. And uh, Jumper one one eight, not bad, not bad. I wonder, uh, I wonder what he's what he's benched with. Uh, let's have a quick look if that screenshot will open right now. It's not. So, oops. That is that is um, quite a yeah, that is quite a, an impressive like uh, road to pro so far. I mean the challenger division is actually quite active as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean this one has ten overclockers because that's the AMD and the AMD is usually like the uh, the least um, I'm gonna say like like the least famous one. But it's it's fun and nice to see some of the some of the guys. Yeah, I mean, to agreed. Show up and in, in fact, in fact, it, in fact, I'm hoping for more. You know, um, cheap cheap uh, uh, Ryzen R3 kind of competitions like uh, to pop up because that is something that you know maybe with limited uh, say say just lockdown just like lockdown CPU clocks also and just let like memory and OS and tweaks and efficiency fly but that would bring a lot of like new uh, people into the OC scene because right now with with the whole uh, cost of hardware thing especially in like third world countries like ours it can get pretty expensive to buy stuff like this to like bench on like you know and risk it so yeah more uh, it's good cheap overclocking was you know it's something that is solely solely missing and it's good to see i mean it's it's good to see more uh, more of the more of you know rise and rise and r3 competitions i'm hoping to see them in fact because that would be very popular in um, in poorer countries because that those CPUs are still something that you know people can afford, and with like a decent, even cheapish B three fifty or like a X three seventy board, you can still have yourself a good amount of fun. But yeah, so uh, Jumpers actually run his Ryzen eighteen hundred X at four nine three eight gig at at four point nine three megahertz. I mean, for for brain fart again, four nine three eight megahertz. So um, yeah, that's actually a very impressive. That's actually a very impressive run uh, for W prime. 1024 at 4.9 gigahertz. We all know Ryzen doesn't like to clock that high. Um, and then the last stage being um, 3D Mark Vantage performance. Uh, so yeah, uh, we've got uh, in, in, Infuriare or Infuriar. Infuriar? Yeah, Infuriar. In the lead, you've got you've got Bruno in second position and you've got Jumper 118 in third position again. Uh, Moose one Moose in fourth and uh, Zevi Pew in fifth. I didn't throw it up this time. At least he said Pew uh, this time, not Poo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm improving. So that, that's that's quite a that's quite an, an active division with all the uh, the FX in Ryzen. And if you look at the Division Five Run Three, there's only eight overclockers. Uh, but uh, this one is limited to integrated CPU graphics. Uh, we do have uh, Babonet yeah. OC in the league, then Stratos CZ that we see in the other leagues as well. 
uh, Super Tado, Donaldo, and some of the other guys. We even have Tiger81 from the uh, FFOC in France that is actually six in these uh, divisions. Um, sorry, guys, we have to move on to the next competitions. The Alza Aussie Cup, what can we say about that, Tullius, like uh, very quickly? So, so basically, Alza Aussie Cup, Ralph is in the lead. Um, George Storm is in second position. Super, Super Donaldo is in third. And you've got G Trude in fourth. Stewart is actually in fifth. Uh, Stato CZ is in sixth. This is beginning to heat up now. You've got 25 overclockers, only nine days left. So uh, some of the big guns are firing. Ralph is Ralph. I mean, quite, quite, quite a few of these, quite a few of the top ten are pretty much the big guns coming fire firing from Europe. Protein is in Protein is in tenth. He's uh, he's also you know I'm 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 expecting some some big numbers from him from France, but. Yeah, uh, this competition is seriously beginning to heat up. But Ralph looks like he's got it. He's, you know, he's got the lead right now, and I'm sure he'll have some some better numbers as well. Sandbag for sure. So, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so yeah, this competition is definitely looking hot. Actually, you've got you've got stage one, which is uh, XTU. Ralph is in the lead um, with uh, 2301 points. You've got stage two, which is uh, GP5 for CPU 100M, and Ralph is in the lead again here. Uh, George Storm is in second place, and GG G, G Trude is in third. But now, with all of this, you can only use, I mean, it's just mainstream again. So, processors with LGA 1150, 1151, 1155, it's all mainstream. Uh, i7, pretty much. Uh, then you've got um, stage three, which is. Uh, uh, Ralph is in the lead again. Yeah, SuperPi 32M. So Ralph is in the lead again. Sorry, my net's being a little freaky right now. <laughs> um, and then uh, stage four is Geekbench uh, single core. So Ralph, it ha Ralph has just he's just obliterated it, it, it right now. Uh, the competition actually, but still nine days left. Lots more, lots more overclockers from uh, from from Europe still haven't actually shown their cards I'm thinking or haven't even bought haven't even submitted yet so yeah but great to see 20 20 overclockers all 20 plus overclockers I mean in stage five there's there's 20 overclockers in total there's 25 overclockers already taking part some of them haven't submitted in stage what do you expect there are some very nice prices yeah yeah there's some really yeah nice unfortunately I think the turnout is really limited by it being Europe li like it's Europe limited for the competition so, so that, that that means guys from the UK are out. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're still in. We're, we can still join this one. We can still join this one, but it's like, uh, but we did like US basically, which like a lot of the other competitions, you see a huge amount of people from the US participating, which is yeah. why this one has relatively low participation. Sure. You know what? This this still has nine days. I might throw in some scores on air cooling just just for the hell of it. I'm, I'm not using be... LN2 for this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough. Okay, oh. and uh, moving on to oh. the last competition, we have to get an update because that's going to be closing quite soon in seven days. So less than a week from now, that's going to be the Rookie Rumble 47. Rumble 47, yes. So, so you've got some really good stuff happening there. You've got 223 overclockers taking part. This is good to see. Protein here is in second place. So, like I was saying, I'm I'm expecting him to maybe you know boost his cause in the Alza OC Cup as well. Castle is in uh, first position here from from New Zealand, and you've got Skella 83 from the UK in third position. Ant Man one is in fourth, and we have an Indian binge Royce. He's still hanging around in fifth. That's actually pretty impressive, considering he's got one point in one point in stage one, <laughs> which is uh, XTU. So, yeah. Um, that that one wrong. point is basically like you submitted a score. You yeah, precisely. So um, th there is still time for him to make some make some gains there. But protein is in number one here. Um, Castle is number two, and Trickster from the United States is in third position with uh, with XTU. With uh, stage two, we've got we've got HW Bot Prime. This 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 never ends. Uh, you've got <laughs> you've got Binjoy's uh, leading. That's interesting. <laughs> 
wet. Somebody has to wet all these calls now. I don't want to be the person. Ay, ay, ay. Um, Castle, you've got in second position, and then you've got uh, Al Capone in third. Um, you've got Nons in fourth, and uh, Jualbrecht, 2000 in fifth. Huh. Skella is in Skella is in seventh, and Protein is in eighth. So they definitely have time to improve their their performance in this stage as well. And uh, stage three being uh, GPU Pi for CPU 100 M. Uh, well, we did we did let out the tweak last time. I mean, use the right Intel OpenCL version. So, um, well, if you know if they kind of followed the show, then they kind of know. And uh, you've got Garfield. Yeah, you've got Garfield in first position from Switzerland, and Suffrage and Castle from a, he's in third. So Skella's in fourth and Proteins in fifth. So all in all, very nice, very nice showing in Rookie Rumble. Lots and lots of action. Uh, 200 and 223 overclockers. That's a that's a fair amount of overclock. It's 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 heartening to see so many nice uh, so many rookies coming into the overclocking scene. New blood, and that's precisely what we need because. <clears throat> Actually, if you're watching yeah. the show for the first time and have no clue what this is, go to oc-esport.io and just uh, follow like the Rookie Rumble. That's going to be the, the first competition you can participate after you register, you register on HWBot or OC Esport. And that's going to be for the next for the first three months you're on the website. You don't need to have a lot of knowledge. You just follow uh, a few of the tutorials you can find online, like, like on Scatterbenchers and all that. If you have any questions, you can even ask on the live chat. People will help you out to, uh, to, to make it. If you're watching this one on YouTube, that should be one of the videos that is, that is suggested on the on the site as well, Scatterbencher. Yeah. And you can just and, get get into it and just, just move on to the uh, to just submit your, your first core and get some point for it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, from from rookie onwards to to novice league. But I mean, look, HWBot has a great forum. There's lots and lots of there's lots and lots of data there. Plus, you can always you know search by country and look who's look 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 for some of your you know higher ranking overclockers. Just message them. I'm sure they'd be happy to reply. I mean, this is anyway a very friendly community and it's pretty it's pretty tight knit. So yeah, the, the, it's just a matter of just taking the first steps and just competing, you know, um, win or lose, it doesn't matter. The, what matters is the fact that you had that, you know, you at least take part. So go ahead and, you know, bench, bench, bench hard, <clears throat> keep pushing. And uh, if you look at Rookie Rumble uh, AMD uh, 41, you've got Rookie Rumble 41 from AMD. Again, there's there's only nine overclockers taking part in there, but you've got Suffrage and oh boy. I don't even want to read that name right now. <laughs> but okay, we might need a penile contortionist. <laughs> I'm gonna hand it. Oh to well, it's to... it's the internet. <laughs> We're all very mature here, <laughs> especially when it comes to nicknames. <laughs> and uh, you've got Simon Mario too in third position. Boyges is again in sixth year, so good to see an Indian taking part. I mean, it's something that I've been trying to push here in 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 this in this country of mine as well. That you know, take part, take part, take part. But it's good to see somebody from India taking part. Um, you know, there's definitely stuff that that I'm 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 planning in the coming months to you know do like um, do something in, on the lines of what Dr. Weez is doing with uh, like a open house overclocking meet gathering kind of thing so that's definitely in the works but that in fact we'll post on it's you know, we'll post it on hardware board x and you know you'll have more details on that event pretty soon actually getting on with getting on with um the news from the web i think it, i think it's time we finish on all the updates from all the competitions that was an <laughs> insane <laughs> update on all the competition guys that's you know what you know, let, let's yeah. let's do this. That was so long because we we went through the scores of all the benchmarks of all the stages. You know what? Let's just take a break for a minute. <laughs> and it's time for the bad team. <laughs>